Let's make art. Today, we'll make art like Tauba Arbach. You will create a weave out of paper inspired by the elaborate patterns and geometric shapes found in Tauba Arbach's artwork. Arbach makes art out of many different types of materials. In her piece, Shadow Weave, Chiral Fret Way, Arbach uses strips of canvas to create an intricate woven pattern that looks both classic and futuristic. You can pause this video or scroll back to any step if you need to. Here's what you'll need. At least two different colored pieces of paper that are similar in size. One of the papers can be a page from a magazine. You'll see why soon. Ruler. Pencil. Scissors. Glue stick. Ready? Let's start. In her woven canvas pieces, there are dazzling displays of symmetrical and asymmetrical patterns that seem to fool the eye, almost like an optical illusion. Are we seeing paint on the canvas, or is it something else? Begin by folding your first paper in half. Cut straight slits starting at the fold. Stop your cuts an inch or two from the edge. You can also use your ruler to measure the space between each slit if you want them to be equal. You can also try cutting your slits in wavy lines or zigzags. Arbach's weave patterns are complex. They can be a combination of classic checkerboard, diamond shapes, and Greek fret designs. Greek fret designs are borders made from a continuous line that shapes into a repeated motif. When creating your weave, think about how the combination of patterns and color creates a style of your own. Take a second paper that's a different color than your first and use your ruler to draw straight lines to create each strip. The strips can all be the same size or you can make some thick ones and some thin ones. You can mix it up and draw some strips in wavy lines or zigzags. You can add another page from a magazine. Using strips from a colorful page can create interesting patterns once you use them in your weave. Take your scissors and cut all your strips. Decide which ones you want to use, or see what happens when you use all of them. Now take a strip and pull it through the first opening. Then pull it through by going under and into the next opening. Continue to weave your strip over and under until you get to the end. Take your glue stick and glue down your strip at both ends. Continue to weave each strip. Remember that each time you start to weave a new strip, you will need to alternate between going over and under. This process can take some time. The more strips you have, the more time it'll take to finish. That's okay. Stick with it. You're done. Take a moment to look at the patterns you created. Did you use all straight strips? Did you combine different size strips? How do the colors of the papers look together? We would love to see your creation. With an adult's permission, share a photo of your art with us on social media by tagging the Broad and using hashtag the Broad from home. The next time you're at the Broad, you can see more artwork like Taba Arbach's woven canvas that may inspire you to make art at home. Thanks for watching.